I just got back from a trip. Uh, it's, it's been a while now, but I was on a long trip. I was on a trip for about three weeks, and it was only two weeks after I started started wet shaving, after I started to learn and, and get those skills. So I was able to get some tips from from different videos, but I wanted to put this video out there. Just traveling and shaving wasn't doesn't seem like it's a it's a topic that you have a bunch of videos on, or at least that I was able to find. So this is my experience with the unique set of circumstances of just learning how to wet shave um, with the DE razor, and then going on this three three week trip. So I hope I hope it's helpful if anybody is looking for travel tips or um, whoever it could be it'd be helpful for. So first, a razor. Let's see where I put it. Uh, I had a Parker. This had been actually given to me in, uh, a few years ago, and I tried just for a couple days. Didn't really have any idea what I was doing, and it didn't last long. I was hurting. I was bleeding, um, and not getting good shaves after just a couple days. So I didn't stick with it. But when I started getting into it a couple weeks before my trip, I had a razor, and so that was I didn't have that expense at all. So uh, this is a. a Butterfly, twist to open. I can hear Paul H saying it. Uh, twist to open. I can't do his accent, but I can. I can hear it in my head. Uh, this was a good. They say this is a good razor for beginners, and I was a beginner, and I still am a beginner. This was a great razor. It was good, also being one piece. That it was the butterfly opening. I was traveling with family. And so some, a lot of times I was dealing with a shared sink space situation. And so it was, it was nice not having to worry about pieces, things getting moved and losing a piece or something like that. It was all right here. In terms of traveling, that was, that was a plus for sure. <clears throat> Blades. I took, um, well, light is really weird. I took two of these five packs, um, mainly Astra. Uh, I had one that was kind of, I, I had a sampler pack and so I switched them out so I could have different options, but um, Astra was my good, my go-to blade. Uh, two five packs. I can get usually about four shaves on, uh, on a blade. So with a three week trip, I had more than enough uh, blades. So it was, it was great. Um, I checked, I checked a bag and I carried on a bag, so I put the blades in the check bag and had no problem. So uh, I put most of my shaving stuff in the check bag and no, no problem, but with the, with the DE razors, you want to check it, so I checked it and it was fine. Okay, in terms of brushes, this was the first brush I was getting back into really for the first time getting into wet shaving just a couple weeks before the trip. I got this Parker. Uh, it's a black badger brush. And um, I didn't really know the different types of badger and things like that, but uh, I like the brush. It was, it was good. This was the only brush I had on the trip. And also being new, this performed well for me. I was always able to get a, a lather. Now I have a couple other brushes and I prefer them um, over this one, but this, no complaints. It worked great for me on the trip. And uh, following uh, the advice of uh, Manic 59, I got a little pill uh, bottle and uh, you just drop it in there. It's good for when you pack it. I drop the lid here. Just the lid. Uh, Put some holes in the top um, for any moisture that's that's residual, but it worked great. Combination worked great. Thanks to Manic Fifty Nine for that suggestion. And then we moved to creams. Now this was the big question for me, especially being new. This was the thing I was most worried about, um, and I I settled with two creams. Creams. Uh, 
This is the uh, Taylorville Bond Street shaving stick, uh, sandalwood. This was awesome. Ninety percent of the time I used this, always it always performed. Being new, being uncomfortable um, with my skills and in, in lathering, this was always uh, this always delivered. I was was face lathering the entire time because I, with traveling I didn't want to have to worry about bringing a bowl. So I'm getting into wet shaving these first couple weeks, and I'm going to have to travel, and I know I'm not going to have, or I don't want to have a bowl. So I'm trying to develop these skills of face, face lathering, which was really difficult, I think. I think it's easier, at least for me, it's easier to bowl lather. But um, I didn't want to have to worry about that and, and bringing that extra thing. So uh, despite my, my newness, my lack of skill, Taylor Vol Bond Street performed great. Uh, I also brought the first cream that I bought, which was Parasso Green. And within the first week, I brought this, I used to do a couple times, but within the first week I was staying at my brother's place and uh, I really like the sensation of Parasso Green on, on your face. And I told my brother, you gotta try this, this is awesome. Pardon me, and so he did. And he loved it, so I gave him my Parasso within the first uh, week. So, most of the time I was using the uh, Taylor Volbon Street, or Tobbs, as some people say, uh, and it, it was always great. So, in terms of creams, soaps, that was what I did. Now, I also, I did buy a stick of, a shaving stick of Arco, but in that first two weeks, I couldn't get it to lather. I couldn't really, I wasn't comfortable with face lathering the Arco. So, since then, I've, I've worked with it. And I can, I can lather Arco now, but I could not that first two weeks, so I didn't bring that. Because that would have been ideal, because it was so little, but it, uh, it didn't make the, the list, didn't make the cut, because I couldn't, I couldn't get it to lather. I didn't want to bring a bowl, but I did bring uh, a stand, which isn't really necessary. But I was paranoid. Uh, it's a wire stand, great for packing. But I was paranoid about drying my brush. Now that I'd spent more than two dollars on a brush, I wanted to be able to dry a brush like this uh, and not lose it. Because I'd had I'd had an experience with these brushes. You know, you get the, in these kits that you can buy at Walgreens, just a couple bucks. Um, and you can see this one already. Uh, if you can tell, clumps of the knot are falling out. I've lost brushes like this probably this exact same brush with the green handle and it just just the knot falling out and I have attributed that to it dry to always drying it like this uh, and not being able to dry it upside down so I was I was absolutely paranoid still still I am a little bit so I always I always like to dry my brushes like that but I wanted to take that stand because uh, I, I didn't want to lose a brush or damage a brush that I just spent some more money on and I think that's, oh, um, I did cheat and brought a disposable razor. I was afraid of, I'd be backed into a corner, be in a situation where it was like either I would look like a caveman or break down and use this razor. But it, the day never came. I never had to use uh, the disposable razor. I was able to use the DE, uh, the safety razor the whole time. So that was something I didn't need to bring. For after aftershave, I just went to Target and picked up one of these little containers, put some of my the Nivea originals, what I used at the time, and it was great. Just so just use that one uh, aftershave balm. It was in conformity with TSA regulations. And then last I just mentioned I brought a washcloth. I, I was traveling, my time was in Europe where I was traveling and someone had, said, had recommended, you know, bring a washcloth because the Europeans aren't big on washcloths. Now most of the time I was staying with family and so e even in that situation it was nice to have my own shaving washcloth and um, just, you know, it was, couldn't get mixed up because I brought it, you know, it wasn't the same color as other towels and things like that. So uh, in the places that we stayed, 
some had washcloths, some didn't. So in the end, I was glad I brought the washcloth. It was a good, uh, good thing to bring, good investment. So I hope that's been helpful, maybe giving you some ideas. Maybe it's stuff you already knew. I just hadn't heard a lot about people traveling and shaving, and so I wanted to share my experience. Now, I also got a bunch of stuff on the trip, and that's another video. But I just wanted to share my experience as a new traveling wet shaver and what worked for me and uh, just maybe maybe someone finds a benefit from that. So hope you have a wonderful weekend and God bless.